Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are back with our Union forces in Grand Tactician, the Civil War. Uh, last episode, Ulysses S. Grant joined the fight, had a pretty decent victory down here in uh, the area around... Uh, well, damn, this hot spot here. We've had a lot of battles here. Most of them have been on the uh, Chancellorsville map. Um, he is actually right here. Still kind of engaged in this battle. Um, Army of Northeast Virginia is also here with low readiness. So the plan for these two armies is to march them south, possibly chase the Army of the Northwest and head them over to Richmond. Uh, this area I'm just looking at holding my position. Uh, we've got Hooker in the Army of the Potomac and uh, McClellan up here with the Department of the Ohio. These two armies I believe are moving up and they slightly outnumber the Army of the Potomac. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing, seems this area is already kind of a Confederate uh, front line, probably going to pull him up a little bit, so that any combat that we get into with these uh, Confederate armies will have two of our own, hopefully McClellan's readiness gets up there a little quicker, so we're going to move him up. Over here, we've got the Department of the Pennsylvania still working on their own readiness. What I'm going to do with him and his uh, 14,000 men, I'm going to send him up here to Wheeling to take Wheeling. Then down here to Charleston to take that. And that will uh, satisfy the West Virginia requirement from the objectives. And after we do that, I might build some... Uh, telegraph lines as I go because out here in the west we've got our army of the west that's in the process of taking Memphis and the department of the west waiting on orders which will not get to them for seven hours but they're going to be moving over here as well um, probably going to Hopefully take Tennessee. And then I can look at sending them down to uh, the Vicksburg area down here. Up here we've got the Army of the New York Army of New York. Still working on uh, getting ready. Got a few more brigades that are going to be coming in. We've got the Regulars Act, which is less than three days out. I can think of what we can uh, what we can do after that. Possibly Military Act two. That'll be fifty days. Maybe one of these two. Um, also want to keep track of uh, our financial situation. So far, it's not too bad. Maintaining a fairly good credit rating. Um, industrialization 2 might not be a bad idea either. One thing I noticed is... Our Navy here is ready to go. There are 123 guns, so we are going to send them down to hit the James River Squadron. Uh, what do we have here? Battle of Fort Pickens. Oh, the Florida State Militia is... Uh, Messing with our Fort Pickens down here. 
I'm pretty sure I've got a fleet down here, too. Yep, here we go. Hanging out in the Keys, getting nice tan going here. Five ships with 229 guns. Wow. <laughs> All right, so we'll send them up to Fort Pickens to uh, work on uh, possibly assisting that. Let's see. Manage fleet movement. Fleet orders. I guess I can't give them a specific order to bombard the uh, forces, but we'll see what happens with that. Let's hit the uh, play button. I want to keep my eyes on this area over here. See what these two... Uh... Okay. He didn't even get his orders in. He's still got low morale. 3,100 men may just bolt right off the bat. If I had to guess, I'd say that's cavalry. I wish I could have gotten him a little closer before this battle, but we are going to uh, take it. Strasburg, Virginia. Actually, not New Market. 21,000 men under Major General Johnson, and we have 20,000 men under Joseph Hooker. Strasburg, Virginia. Okay, so we are attacking. We've got an hour until their full force is here. Let's take a look. That's the objective. And where are we? We are way over here. Confederates are going to be coming from here. Well, they're either going to uh, come up this way or come up through here and try and get that objective. They already hold it, so they could be just plain sitting right on top of the objective. All right, so let's grab our army. them into marching columns and infantry into long range once we uh, get started <clears throat> anyway uh, we could get them all on the side of the river hopefully we can get them all on the side of the river I think that's about what we're going to uh, accomplish there. Hit the play. Infantry long range. Artillery on limber. Have hooker rally just right off the bat. We don't want our uh, units booking. I'm going to, if I can find it. For now, I'm going to have them all use roads just to get them down into the area. I'm not going to move them very fast. Kind of have them get started like that. Get them moving. 
take the objective real quick, hopefully. Uh, hilly terrain with a lot of open ground here. If we can uh, get set up in these woods on the high ground, that would be great. Have infantry go long range. I'm going to hold off on sending my cavalry out for now. But I will uh, get my troops moving, and once we encounter the enemy, we will be back. When sprinting down the road. Okay, so here is the situation. Uh, I've already given orders for long range, um, changed it from use roads to use cover and high ground and roads, uh, given the orders to rally, but I haven't separated anyone out. The Confederates are in this area here. Looks like they're forming up a line uh, down near the objective. They do sit in this little valley here in between the high ground and the river. So um, when I gave my units orders to form up in single line, somehow they managed to turn themselves around and face the wrong way. Unfortunately, our cavalry is over here, and I really don't want to send them through the woods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach them have them set up right here we are going to get plumber actually what I want to do right now before I do that is get them set up to attack and detach you as well View over here. Gibbon, Tatch, have you set up right here? Don Carlos Buell. I'm going to bring you... Probably should have brought uh, that first division down a little further here. I have you set up right here. And then Lewis Hunt. Uh, you right here all right let's get everyone moving once I get them out into position I'm going to detach some skirmishers hopefully at some point we recite the enemy now we're pretty far into the defeat category even though we haven't actually been counter the enemy or engage them.
our morale sucks, 45%. Any time now, sight the enemy. Yeah, when I gave the order to uh, form up in a single line, they pulled back, too, so their visual range kind of diminished. All right. Slow this down a little bit. Like, they're uh, trying to move into position to take the high ground over here. Yeah, they're pulling right out of their positions. It's maybe a fight in the woods. Okay, speed it up a little bit. Okay, they do have skirmishers out now. Like these guys are just about in position. They are. Our artillery is once again useless up in the woods like that. Imagine that. Here comes uh, some more. That's probably their reinforcements. Okay. Have you detached some skirmishers? Okay, hang on a second here. got a huge brigade facing us right now. Let's start firing on them. Unstable morale.
I forget about the rest of our army over here. Pause for a second. Okay. It was a bad place for us to set up. Now we've got their uh, reserves or their... The rest of their army coming in on us. This commander up a little closer here. Give them the halt order. Have you come over here like this? Fifth division. First division. Are you? Okay. Okay, how's our cavalry coming over here? They're not moving. Kinda, kinda are, kinda not. First attachment broke. Artillery doing something here.
let's move our cavalry up a little bit. Get them in range to uh, start firing on them over here. Got two brigades kind of balled up right here. Let's get these guys out over here. Seventeen hundred in that brigade, thirteen hundred in this brigade. If we can bring our cavalry over and hit them from here. It might just uh, take some of the uh, pressure off of this front here. Massachusetts State Militia you over here. Maryland State Militia. I want you to come over here. your commander okay right here he, these guys are still kind of moving into position it's like our cavalry is assembled so we're gonna move them up have them fire on them It does look like they're uh, starting to pull their forces forward here. You guys gotta hurry up. Double time. Hey, okay, you gotta stop. Here, start firing on him. Start firing on him. Change your orders real quick. Our artillery is going to blunder right into the uh, enemy lines. First Brigade. Give the order to halt or bad things happen. How's this going over here?
you come up right here. Come on now. Bring them in on this flank here. I'm firing. Hey, first brigade, you gotta get up into the action. Have you come right here? Attack. Oh. Our militia just broke here. The main state militia. Still got this detachment. Hey, Massachusetts, get into the action. All right, this kind of a cluster down here. Okay, what do we have? First Brigade, still moving into position. Now we kind of have them all bunched up here. Our artillery just broke. All right, Massachusetts State Militia. To move down, press down a little further down here, kind of get everyone spaced out a little bit. Hail are whipped. The enemy has whipped us properly, and I'm running low on men. That sucks. The Indiana State Militia. Trying not to uh, get too zoned out on this one section of the battlefield here.
Okay, bring them up. Enemy is retreating. Sweet. Alright. Let's inflict as many casualties as we can. It's strange that they're retreating when uh, a lot of their forces aren't even broken. Not complaining, just saying. Uh, let's bring you down, hit him. Press the attack a little bit here. Some of these guys didn't even get into battle. Scouts Brigade. Cavalry did fairly well holding them off over here. Third Brigade. the Indiana State Militia who's whipped. Lines of Brigade still got a fair, fairly large amount of men. Uh, move you forward on the, that battalion there. Z's Brigade, Lawton's Brigade. Let's move you in on Lawton's Brigade. Our one cavalry unit out here is getting a little ahead of themselves. First brigade needs to uh, come up a little bit. Stewart's cavalry almost lost everybody. On Pennsylvania, get into the action here. Do something, first brigade. Come on, Minty. how they 
they still have five men left. Oh, one of our cavalry brigades just broke. Those five men must have been Chuck Norris or something. Let's just charge him. Charge. 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 <laughs> charge. Everybody charge. How about you? 800 men still. Move you over to attack him. Come down on this artillery. you up. Let's see what are these guys doing? Nothing. Fire on that brigade there. Guess we can speed things up a little bit here. They did have a nice defensive position set up. Indiana State Militia under Nathan Kimball is broken. Don't feel like charging. See who else? Who else can we charge? There they go. Get you in on this charge here. See, there we go. Wiped them right out. <laughs> There we go. Major federal victory at Strasburg, Virginia. Uh, let's take a look here. We lost 2,605 out of 20,000. We lost 8,500 out of 23,000. I will take it. Major victories make me happy. General Hunt has become famous due to his battle honors, and Captain Taylor has fallen to disgrace in the eyes of his men. Once we get back to the uh, strategic map, which we didn't see a whole lot of so far in this episode, I'm going to go through uh, this army and see what we have in terms of available perks. Alright, these guys are fleeing. You did good. Did good. you right here. He's still waiting for his orders to uh, move up. Come on, Army of the Potomac. Select. Uh, I guess we can just do this over here.
we still listing them as being in battle, so... See what else they plan on doing. Hey, how's your readiness? Getting there. Have him build something. Build some telegraphs. There, how's that? Oh, I guess we gotta place it. Like supply depots. We can find a place to stick it. Right there, it works. Right, they are falling back here. There we go. So I'm gonna pause. Take a look at our army. And go through and see what we can do as far as perks go. Surprised with the amount of battle that these guys have seen, they don't have more perks available. Doesn't look like anyone does. Okay, so... Another major victory for us. How long do we have? I want to get the next policy selected before the end of the episode. 2.3 days. We'll get things moving a little bit. These guys are pulling back. I've been thinking about doing something here. With, uh, McClellan. Oh, shit. Glorious victory at the Atlantic. James River squadron in retreat, so our Navy pushes them out again. Uh, let's have you... Continue on. You're on your way down to, uh, Wilmington to blockade. So, we are going to... Have you blockade... pause real quick before something screwy happens. I've been thinking about doing something with McClellan and his army here. Um, I've been thinking about... If I could find the guy. There he is. It's 15,000 here with uh, 17,000 here. Disbanding the Department of Ohio and joining them with the Army of the Potomac. I don't know about all that, though. I kind of like the idea of two separate armies. But we may need to uh, take his army away from McClellan. Maybe give him control of the uh, Army of New York, who is under uh, Winfield Scott. And uh, even though he is in charge of our entire army, he's also in charge of the Army of New York, so... We may be uh, giving McClellan the Army of New York. Okay, let's take a look out here, see what we've got. What kind of action we have out here. Have we taken Memphis yet? It looks like we have, actually. Memphis Union. Yes, we have. Okay, so you are going to build a supply depot. Oops. I'm gonna find some place to put it right there. Sounds good. 
So he is going to build a supply depot here. Army of the Mississippi. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Okay, we are bombing this uh, fort here. Let's go back out to the uh, Department of the West. We have uh, two new... Uh, holy shit. Twenty six thousand men. Not sure where they came from, but perhaps pulling him into uh, Tennessee is not going to work very good. But we'll uh, figure that out in the next episode. Anyway, if you liked uh, today's battle, hit that like button. Leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. Um, take a second here to. Say thank you and welcome to the new subscribers that are joining us. Um, thanks for the comments, too. Really do uh, appreciate the feedback. Um, if you're not yet subscribed, want to follow along, Union Campaign is turning out to be uh, a little more challenging than the Confederate Campaign. Uh, first full campaign I've done since the AI improvements went into effect, so it's not just us steamrolling over them. If you want to follow along through that and see how we do, Hit the subscribe. And I think that's about it for today's episode. As always, J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.